Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. EB Chats here. 209th walk, let's go. I'm gonna head up towards Morrison's today. A couple of things I gotta look out for. One being a bulb for my brother's room. So I tried to have a look online, but this stupid mass tower is stopping me. <laughs> so there's not much I can do. Lovely blue sky, but it's very fresh like when I went to town the other day. In my green today, as you can tell. Still a bit bunged up. But we're getting through it, we're getting through it. I got some new walking shoes as well when I went uptown. This is my bargain. £2.89. £2.89, man, for a pair of slip on trainers. That's perfect. They do me because my other ones pretty much had it. I really like them as well, but I just couldn't find them anymore. Like where to buy them. So, yeah. So much easier with the slip on shoes, man. I have like the high top slip ons, and then I've got these now. So I thought that's perfect. Maybe my feet look tiny, but you know. <laughs> look. They're so comfy, man. They're like slippers. Yeah, they're like slippers, man. But yep, yeah, so weird walking on a Friday. Because usually I'll just go down and get like my lottery for the weekend or whatever, down the shop and then head back. But yeah, done my food and all that. Gonna have a cheeky chippy today. Why not? Been good. Lost a freaking nine and a half stone. I'm allowed to treat that one again. But yeah. Oh man, freaking hell. I don't think it's picking up on camera when that, but that's how cold it is anyway. I just like this time of year though. It just, like I see, it reminds me of Halloween and all that. Nice crisp mornings and stuff. Pretty cool. But yeah. I haven't done my walk to Morrison's for a while, so I thought maybe I'll do that. I'm not going uptown again, man, friggin' hell. That was well stupid. <laughs> I thought, yeah, my first proper out and go on a big walk. Not a good idea. Felt like absolute crap after that one. Because I'm still obviously getting over this shit. And then it's, um, you get back frozen, you just bunged up again even more. So it's like, God's sake, what can you do? <sighs> well, lovely little uh, chill video for you guys today. So yeah, I still can't believe I'm in my 200s now. 209, who'd have thought it, hey guys? But yeah, I need to lose just under two stone. See, just under two stone. Yeah, because I want to get just under 11, um, just under 13 now. 12, 11. I, I just can't believe it, to be honest. It's, you get a bit shell shocked, you know what I mean? Like, how the hell did I do this kind of thing? Like, Completely different person. It's shot my nails, I ain't gonna lie, you know. Made my anxiety a bit more worse, but it's just a big change to the body still, even though it's been over a year. It's still a big change. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, guys, I was 22.2 stone. 25th of May, I started weighing myself last year. And uh, yeah, here we are now. <laughs> 12 stone 11. I don't know how I ended up letting myself get like that. It was weird, like when I was growing up, it didn't matter what I ate, I was just bigger and bigger, I didn't know why, and I found out why. I'm putting it down to most, most of it was to do with alcohol, you know what I mean? So, what can you do? At the end of the day, you just gotta put yourself first, put your health first, and just do it, like, just put your mind to it. Like, I did try before, but I don't think I was mentally prepared already and I was still drinking then. I didn't feel like I could eat like done my own food because um my mum used to because she's doing everyone else obviously you still live at home and that you it shows the meal for everyone. So then I was even having like snacks in between and then drinking more especially I, I think it got worse mainly with my leg because I had to elevate it a lot. I wasn't very not saying I was the most active person in the world but I literally wasn't active at all when I had to elevate my leg and stuff like that. So that kind of put a freaking toll on like your mental health, thinking more, stuff like that. So, but we're good now, we're good now. I'd say I'm about 90% there. When I reach my 10 stone loss, that'll be a big accomplishment. That's a big accomplishment to anyone, you know what I mean? Losing all that weight, especially in a short space of time. Like, I was losing, when I first started, I was losing about two, three pounds a week. 
and then um, obviously it gets harder and harder. Sometimes I'll put like a pound back on now just because of how I am, you know. Still have, like a Wednesday and Saturday, I'll still have my cheat day. Like a Wednesday, I'll have burger chips and peas at a beef eater. Then on a Saturday, I'll have either a Volkswagen or a chippy or a Carvery, like, because it's a cheat day, like supper, you know, because that's the days that I'm at mum and nan. It's like a treat, if you want to say. But I've been good this week. Monday, I had my health stuff. Tuesday, I had my health stuff. Wednesday, we didn't go out to the meal, so... I bought like my own bits. I just got microwave burger, then ready to go fries, and I done my own veg like with it. It was actually really nice. So that's good to know that I can have that if we don't ever go out for whatever reason on a Wednesday or whatever sometime. And it wasn't expensive either. So yeah, it's not really anybody about either, and it's almost ten to nine couple of cars in the world, that's about it really. I'll try and cross over in a minute, I think. Then I'll do a lovely short for you guys. Hope everyone has a great weekend, by the way. As I always say, I love hearing when people are doing good, when people are happy, healthy, good mind on their shoulders, you know. Just doing good in general. It makes me feel better as well. So. <laughs> but mine as well, like... I went live yesterday on TikTok, so if you want to catch me today, it'll be about one o'clock, one or two o'clock. Just come and chat to me. I like meeting the people in the comments. The reason why I battle people is because there's an awkward silence when there's no one really on. I'm just like, like you know, not saying anything obviously because there's no one to talk to. Um, so that's the reason why I do the battling to feel the awkward silence. Um, not for the money or anything. The money's just a bonus, but I want to get people helping out like that anyway. I love to be like a full-time life person one time, but yeah, right. <laughs> you need to follow him for that. That's reaching a bit, but my main goal is just focusing on my weight, focusing on my dieting, not putting too much pressure on myself because I know I've done good anyway. So I'm at that point where I can just chill a bit now, not to eat crap again. I just mean like, just not worry about it as much, you know, because I'm never going to put fucking 10 stone back on. I'm never drinking again, that's for sure. That's shocked me for life. It would anyone, anyway. After what happened to me. But, yeah. Like I say, I'm nearly at Morrison's now, like two minutes away. I am sniffling as well. <laughs> Lovely blue sky, though, man. Can't beat it, can you? But, yeah, I don't mind this. Like, because obviously Tesco's only down the road. It's not really a walk, like, on Instagram and the park and stuff like that. That's just if it's going to be crappy weather. I'm not feeling right or whatever. But I do like walking to Morrison's. It's a nice little walk. For me, it's probably about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. And then um, obviously going back as well. But what I do, I have a decent walk around here, so it still counts as like at least 45 minutes altogether. So it's not too bad. But yeah, back to normal <laughs> scheduling. Fingers crossed next week, guys. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, if you're a returning viewer. I love you so much. Thanks for the support, guys. At the end of the day, I just do this to hopefully motivate someone else to get out there. Hopefully. i still got a lot to learn myself, so don't worry about that. Um, so I don't want to give you any wrong information or stuff, but I just go by how I've lost it, what I eat, because what I have might not help you, like someone else. Or it might, you just don't know, you know what I mean? Everyone's body's different, so it is what it is. But anyway, I have baby potatoes, vegetable rice... Lettuce, veg finger, chicken strips. Okay? And then, like, I have that dinner and supper, but for my dinner, I have a little mini pork pie with it. Just to boost, like, the badness up. Because I thought, felt like I was going to pass out when I was not having any other thing. You know what I mean? And then I have a snack about 4 or 5 o'clock. Because I have my dinner about 12. So about half 6. About 4 o'clock, I just have a bag of cheddars or something. So that works for me. It might not work for you guys. You know what I mean? It took me about four or five months to start seeing changes. And like I say, everyone's body's different. And that's me ranting on. Hope you have a great weekend, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell so you never miss an upload from me. We need to be chats. Peace out. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, and I have orange squash. The orange and pineapple with no sugar or anything else in it, guys. Peace out.
have a great day. Check out my shorts.